in reality, I should have picked the equator because, you know, the equator at the solstice, I mean, at the equinox, it works perfect. So just imagine that. Uh, but I just wanted you to see 3,000 miles apart. Just imagine it's the equator, okay? And uh, it's, when it's 12 noon, near, noon here uh, on the first day of spring, okay, it has what? How many hours to go till sunset? Six hours, correct? Over here, three hours later, it's only got three hours to go to sunset, correct? So here, when you're observing, the sun is what? Directly above your head. 12 noon, okay? At 3 p.m., it's exactly halfway between directly above your head and sunset, which is on the horizon, correct? It's in between. It's at a 45-degree angle. So every three hours, you get a 45-degree angle of the sun on the Earth. I hope that's clear. All right, uh, which is 3,000, um, uh, three time zones is 3,112 miles apart. All right, one time zone is 1,037 miles apart. That's where I made a mistake. Sorry about that. So each time zone is 3,000, each three time zones is 3,112 miles apart. And at 3,112 miles apart, you should see the sun at a 45 degree angle, and you will. Now it's time for fourth grade people today probably and this is uh, again this is the low grade version of the NASA paint software I have to do a lot of these drawings myself and I chose an Indian a red person because I'm an Indian so I don't want to pick on anybody all right no discrimination here here's the guy out on the west coast all right except you know we were going to be talking about the equator what we'd probably be in the water so anyway on the west coast here's the guy at 12 noon he's looking directly above his head isn't he okay and the sun is what we're told is 93 million miles up on average it varies just a little bit uh, no more than 3 million miles by the way so people who think the ellipse causes that figure 8 in the sky on the analema thank you for uh, giving me the correct pronunciation, uh, pronunciation uh, because my English is not good with pronunciation and verbiage and all that kind of stuff people that have been with me uh, very long know that I can't talk worth a damn. If you could just hear my brain talk, you'd be surprised. In any case, um, so here's our 3,112 miles to our guy over here standing on the East Coast, right? And he sees the sun at a 45-degree angle. For those of you who forgot trigonometry or never learned it, this little mark thing here indicates this is a 90-degree. Okay? Now, granted... If the Earth is curved, this is going to be much down farther than this, isn't it? Okay. And that's going to work out to the disadvantage of people. So keep that in mind. All right. What I'm going to prove here, that's going to be to your disadvantage if you're going to say, well, the Earth is curved, so this, this is farther down. Okay, fine. You want to have that? You're going to make it worse for yourself. I'm proving here that the, the sun is no way it's 93 million miles above the, the Earth. Cannot be. Mathematically, cannot be.